Hello, 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 and welcome to the Witcher 3 stream. And this one, we're going to go and uh, talk to Triss Marigold. See what kind of quest she has for us. And just try to get a few more levels. This whole Skelliger thing is, is a bit uh, too advanced for us. So, we're going to go and find Triss instead, which is, um, yeah, this, this one. So, the Pyres of Novigrad. That's going to be our next quest. Where do we need to go for that? Let's see. All right, all the way up here is the... Some sort of waypoint here? No? I guess we'll go to... Hankman's tree? Oh yeah, yeah, I need to go to a... Wait, where's, uh, where's the next signpost to me? It's in... Black Bow. Yeah, what ha um, my character right now is level nine. All right, so taking a level ten quest uh, seems appropriate within the reasonable range. Oh! All right, um, somewhere here is going to be a signpost. And then we'll visit, visit um, Tristan the house. All right, where is, where are we? Go here. Follow our horse. There he is. And go for a bit of a ride. It's gonna be a bit of a longer ride. I'm gonna go through here if I can. Let's dance. Let's not dance. Alright. Suppose we have to dance. Even the power of Quen. Do quite a bit of damage. Oh, that was not good. Okay. There we go. Oh, there's one more bandit. Come on, got the Quen. Right. Um, some more stuff here. Not very valuable. What? Is that on the chest? Apparently not. Alright, this is open anyway. Wait, I thought... No? Okay, nothing to loot there. Okay, come on, Roach Boy. Oh, it's coming from the other side. Okay, these are just soldiers. Leave my Roach alone. Uh. 
Right. A bit slower here. <coughs> Which are coming through. Maybe I should send me man to the creek. I catch something. Wait, um, I think I'm. Oh, this is fine. Can I go through here? Game wants me to go in the opposite direction. Oh, there's also a signpost now that I just discovered. Uh, roach, 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 getting stuck. How do you get out of here? Oh, is it like. So I get off the horse? Come on. There we go. We'll just swim across. It's fine. And then Roach will magically appear on the other side. That's also a bridge. That's fine. There you are. Okay, now you can follow the road. Or this road, I suppose. What? It keeps changing its mind. I'll just go in the general direction, because this is pretty easy terrain. Some outlying village here. Oh my god. And you just jump over the fence here. Uh, the wrong way, dwarf. The glory gate, and now it's also if you see a new uh, marker here, in case you want to return here. Faster. Smuggler's cash. There must be order. Slow now. Alright. Mm. Our world will burn! Burn in the eternal fire! Oh. Ah. Oh. Damn it, sir. Taking a rest from witch chanting. Greetings, Your Honor. Alright, just oh. good, Chris. Mutants, blasphemers, kobolds. Gotta be somewhere here. This is, looks like a pretty big city. And this game is really big. There's so much. This is like only one of one of the areas, right? Like this is already quite quite a lot of stuff here. And You know, there's, there's like other areas as well, so... Pretty, pretty insane how... How much uh, content there is in this game. Our Rock Square. Seems uncalled for. No evil can survive the holy fire. The holy fire enlightens, burns, and cleanses. Behold the flame of grace and mercy. 
Special very merciful. Freak. Nice, slow burning. You'll beg for mercy in all the voices known to you. What? Sure hope Dudu hasn't met the same fate. Make sure that we have live chat on. Alright. Boars. Boars everywhere. Um, alright, this, this is where Triss's house is. Go in here. Sulterous. What? Some thugs? Hey, <coughs> sod off. We're looting here. Not here for the loot. Interested in the sorceress who lived here. And we're supposed to believe that. Yeah. Most likely I did in some rat trap with the rest of them. Who's she hiding from? Temple Gods cracking down. All mages are fair game. Yeah, they round them up like rats. Someone's gotta know more. I'd look for her in a putrid grove. Putrid grove. Where is it? I wouldn't know. Rumor has it, it's a place for freaks and oddities. You'd fit in well there. Maybe. Thing is, gotta know how to get there. They say you gotta get there through the sewers, but you gotta enter them outside of town. Few know where exactly, though. Ask a beggar, or spot yourself a thief. Follow him. Beggars and thieves gotta pay tribute to the king of beggars. Word is, they do it in the grove. Mean to say the local beggars have a king? Crown, scepter, and all that. Wouldn't scoff, mate. King of beggars, it's a moniker. Yeah, for a man who everyone in Novigrad respects deeply. And watch yourself. Menger himself don't even go to the grove. Someone call for me. Wonder why. Yeah, but normally how someone just doesn't it's load Menger. the face textures properly. Oh god. Thieving vermin to the confession chamber. Well, but sir, what's the offence? This is some sorceress bitchy shop. Think that gives you the right to steal her property? Well, sorcerers, mages of all types are outlaws. But by law, the temple guard takes possession of their belongings. And the rule of law still holds in Novigrad. You know a bat can sniff out a moth a mile away. Small animals. Can't say I'm really interested. I know your trade. Spotted those yellow eyes amidst the rabble in the square right away. Did you notice how much common folk love flames? The eternal fire will consume them all one day. One way or another. And as bats sense moths, so I sense freaks. And start by warning them, Novigrad's no place for your kind. Heard Novigrad was no place for mages. Now you're telling me it's no place for witchers. So who's it a place for? Righteous folk professing the one true faith in the eternal fire. Nothing I can do to you now. But just know that I know you're here. One misstep, one error, 
You'll make a mistake, it's inevitable. I'll be the first to learn of it. And when I do, it'll be standard procedure. Like for every magic oddity who dares taint this city's air. Be seeing you. Alright, I guess we'll use our witching senses and look around for clues. I guess we just look for this king of beggars. Alright, let's loot. I'm an honorable, respectable witcher. Junction of the spears. Okay. here let's go upstairs <coughs> see if we can find something there Bunch of stuff. And the dumpling. Kind of weird putting a dumpling in there, but okay. Trisses. Never knew her to drop him on the floor. The rose of remembrance. All dried up. It's a rose of remembrance. Okay, I think that's everything here. So we'll get out. And look for some thieves or beggars. Oh, deepest apologies, Governor. Fetch some metal, you wretch. Was a thief is a wearing a black cloak. But what is this camera doing? What? what was it? Where did you go? What was that with the camera? I was got confused because the camera just went all over the place. Holy shit. How was that? Where do you actually go? Oh, 
Okay, who else is dressed in black and therefore a thief? Be gone, or I'll inform the hunters you're a non-human. How is business? This Marigold, the witch and harlot, is wanted for the practice of black magic and, and conspiracy against the crown. Okay. Okay, I guess I, um, I missed the thief. What are these circles, though? Wait, what? What about the... Oh, that's a, that's a new... Um, that's a new uh, contract quest thingy. Um, here we are. Truth is, we're already dependent on oh, that God. God. The Reapers come for me. Oh, look, look. Rank. Camera, okay. This guy looks like he might be a thief. He's wearing a hood. Yep, there you go. He sensed something. Gotta stay further back. Oh. Okay. I think he didn't hear, hear that. We talked right next to him. some coin but you gotta tell me where the putrid grove is i don't know that keep your coin i don't know a thing move on be gone all right let's follow this thief Somewhere I can move, I can walk slowly. And sprint. Why is your hair so grey, darling? Which one do I follow now? They say the income tax for trading companies is to rise. Just All this guy, I suppose. <gasps> la, 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 la. 
la li li la Annoying children? No, I thought the children would, would try to talk to me to distract me in this quest. It's getting kind of boring. This guy looks like a. He might be a thief as well. All this townsman. Ah, nothing hurts as much as life. Good thing that shady individuals are dressed as such. Why is your Drunken strumpet. No, she's actually dancing. I thought I thought, I thought she was like swaying back and forth because she's drunk. I'm not looking. Facing the other way. Can't see you. Everything's fine. Take a look. What do you see? Yellow eyes, pair of swords, mutated kill at me things. Heard this place was a meeting spot for oddities. Heard right. Now the password getting free. Don't know it. Gotta to contribute to the Graves upkeep. Don't know the password. Pay up then. You may enter. Oh, right after you leave me your weapons. You'll be safe in the locker. Fine. Make sure you don't lose them. No worries. Be waiting for you once you're done with the king. Okay, let's meet, meet with the king of beggars. Picked him as rain. Thank you, my lord. Right miracle and you've worked. I'd like to meet my lord. So, they've cleverly hidden away this entire section of town. And none of the... The... Bernie people, whatever they're called, Holy Flame, have discovered this. Seems unreasonable. Where'd you get it? Was lying in the street, so I took it. You look me straight in the eyes and lie, just like your pa. <laughs> You're a good lad. Now go play. Mummy's got to get some sleep before she goes to work. <sighs> I need a rest. We can go at it here or at my place. Yeah. How are things? Good. More and more people come to our secret clinic. So he saw. All right, I guess that's Chris. Clear, sorceress. Yes, high time. Me and my men will manage just fine without the help of you or any other mages. But you, well, without our help, you'll sit in ducks for the temple guard. Who do I spy? Geralt? Atris. See you two know each other. See you two know each other well. I was curious whether you managed to find me, Witcher. Your spies tell you I was looking for the Putrid Grove? My skull would be a home for bottom-feeding river fish 
if I didn't keep an ear to the ground. And please, Putrid Grove, ugly name for our cosy little hideout, wouldn't you say? So what would you call this dive? Dunno. The Garden of Liberty, maybe? For a man who shakes down beggars and thieves for tribute, you're quite the romantic. You say tribute, I say taxis. You say thieves, I say hard-working street clerks. Got a point? See, Witcher, I've got plans. Big plans. Far-reaching plans to reshape this city head to toe. Ever thought of seeking a seat on the city council? City council is a puppet troop with a hierarchy of the Church of the Eternal Fire as its puppeteer. Until recently, that is, when Radovid and his witch hunters took the reins. The semblance of power don't interest me. A man with a vision. One day, the so-called free city of Novigrad will be truly free. But before that can happen, we got a riddit of superstition farting around about the hallowed essence of the eternal fire. Nonsense for kiddies. Apparently not. Cheering crowd at the execution. Mostly adults. Any crowd a rabble will cheer to the stench of burning flesh. But well, one day, folk will understand the eternal fire's naught but a leash around their necks. They call this place the Putrid Grove. But it's the rest of Novigrad that's putrefied. This year's the last bastion of normality, sanity, reason. I'm actually glad someone like you's found his way to our city. Because it will be our city one day, Geralt. Mark my words. Yours, plural. Yeah, mine. And me friends. But that's a tale for another time. For now, I'll leave you two alone. Because like I can see. Well, you clearly need it. Gerald, I have a lot of things to take care of in town. I'll be glad to tag along. What's your arrangement? He using you? Helping me to survive, actually. Six months ago, if somebody said Triss Marigold would be working for a Novigrad criminal, I'd never have believed it. Six months ago, Triss Marigold parted with someone very dear to her and had to start a new. Hasn't turned out like I imagined. Madam Sorceress. Beautiful as ever. Damn shame to par. Don't fret. Bound to be back soon. Nice to hear a few kind words, but my friend needs his weapons. Of course, I got them. Said I'd have them and give them back. So I'm giving them back. Here's your junk. Thanks. You watch out for yourself, miss. Novigrad's not what it used to be. Not a city for you. Okay. I take it you're in Novigrad on important business. Important doesn't do it justice. I'm looking for someone. More precisely? Young woman, who's like a daughter to me. Her? Here? No, impossible. She was here. There are witnesses, evidence. Was hoping you'd heard something. You've been here a while. I need you to help me find something, anything, a trace. I'll do everything I can, of course. Who might know more? Um, doesn't that question deserve an answer? Apparently not. Hello, Klug. Managed to get those magic incense ingredients? Yes, somewhat with... Uh... Difficulties, you might say. I was walking along the canal with a sack full of goodies for you. Looked up and spied a trio of temple guards coming the other way. Get to the point, Klug. No time today for one of your long stories. Wait! A sack full of magicalities and they were coming straight towards me. I don't easily frighten, but I, 
I felt a cold sweat on my arse, I did. I'm afraid I had no choice. I dropped the sack in the water. I had to. When asked why, I claimed it contained a dead cat. You shan't believe this. But they believed me. I need that package, Klug. I've got a contract. It must be on the canal bed. Luckily, it was heavy enough to sink. I'm sure it'll turn up if you search. You expect me to pay you, then die for my goods into that ice-cold filth? I can do that. Where'd you toss the package? Near the crane. Second bridge in from the harbor. I didn't expect such devotion. Wanted to freshen up anyway. Let's go. Stop. Hear that? They've come for us. The fool didn't break until I began to prick his heels. Every man's got his sensitive spots. Interrogated a mage once. Pain couldn't touch him. Tore off his fingernails, crushed his bollocks. Nothing. Turned out. He was devilishly ticklish. I placed a beetle on his belly and set a mug atop it. Damn you, went mad. You were lucky this time, but you'd best leave via the sewers. The trapdoor's in the floor. Take care of yourself, Klug. Okay. Wait, where's the... Okay, here it is. No? Oh, down here, okay. Giving me no choice. Quenning time. No, don't go up there. I just want to loot the drowner. Oh, it didn't drop anything. On this wall that'll open the secret passage. All right, overburdened. All right, let's drop some of our junk. Ooh, this is pretty good. And we've got long sword. Wait, I was using this earlier, didn't I? Also this thousand flower thing. You get extra attack power, we get bonus experience. Yeah, yeah that's definitely much better. Okay, some of these crap thingies. Um, yeah, we'll drop some of these guys. Drop, drop. No blackjack. Drop that as well. And there you go. Let's grab as well. Where is oh uh is it this one? Well No, that's not a trigger. Alright, some nice stuff there.
Ah, there we go. Free city of Novigrad. The name actually used to mean something. The very reason so many mages came here after the massacre at Loch Muin, thought they'd be safe from Rad of its reapers. Instead, they jumped out of the frying pan into the fire. But Novigrad stands on top of a mountain of coin, and winning a war takes three things. Coin, coin, and even more coin. That's why they're exterminating mages, confiscating their property and possessions. And they'll go after non-humans next. The elves occupy slums, but the dwarves practically control financial life in the city. Official word is that Novigrad will remain neutral. Somehow doubt anyone believes that anymore. Judging by what Klug said, the parcel should be around here on the bottom. Unless the poor man was mistaken. He's been forgetful ever since Manga interrogated him. Seems to be suffering from a persecution complex, too. Current must have carried the sack seaward. I'll swim towards the port. Coming with? Uh, maybe some other time. <laughs> Don't know what you're missing. Water's thick with pungent oils. Guessing it'll do wonders for my complexion. Not gonna be much. Much oil if you are under the water. A fine kettle of fish. What the fuck is this? It's like a bird? Why is there a bird on the water? It's so weird. Yeah, it's some sort of... I mean, what is what kind of bird is that? Why is it underwater? I think it's supposed to be a bug. Got it. See if there's anything more down there. Looks like no. Go a little bit further. I guess there's some stuff here. Alright, oh, just a herb. Yeah, let's go up. Back to Triss. Give her our package. the parcel or did you get wet for no reason nothing like a refreshing swim in a filthy canal found a few fish a rusty anchor the carcass of a boat oh and this oh my packet hope the contents aren't soaked through oh you're a doll seem to be in your element still remember my elements how i use them come on six months isn't that long it's not like I'm senile. But you do have a history of amnesia. I've recovered my memory completely. Good. That should stop people from taking advantage of you. Someone's been taking advantage of me. I have, for one. I've never even intimated. We need to hurry. Uh, youth these days. <laughs> All right. Greetings, sorceress. Greetings, Brandon. I didn't expect you to bring company. Is that a problem? By the eternal fire, no. I'm surprised, that's all. Together, I expect you resolve things twice as fast. 
You've the look of true experts. But I'd prefer you not to tarry and begin. Triss, you and Brandon here. You've agreed a price. We settled on a full coin purse. Brandon and Co. is a serious outfit. We've the largest granary in all Novigrad. You're a merchant, familiar with how commerce works? Of course. Honest pay for honest work. Half up front, half once the job's done. You're asking a great deal. I'm a witcher. Gotta admit, I've met my share of people who say one thing beforehand, another after the fact. Hmm. Very well. Your first installment. We need to place these crystals around the granary. Near anything that looks rat-related. I'll cover half the space. You take the other half. Look for evidence of rat activity. Mm -hmm. uh, here's some rat activity. I know what evidence of manticore activity looks like, but rodents? Geralt, we'd both rather be somewhere else. I'd rather be sitting in a royal council meeting, but they killed my king. Look for crevices and draw things. Once we place this incense, what then? I'll cast a spell and the rats will leave. Can't do that without sprinkling incense? Don't really feel up to looking for rat shit. Stop whining. Wait, we're looking for evidence of rats when there's literally hundreds of rats running around here? A bit confused. Okay, here's some rat droppings. Looks like a good spot. I don't like that guy. Brandon? I don't either. He's much too fat. Can't help but agree, but no. Notice how he didn't try to haggle? Must really want the rats out. Triss, he's a merchant. He makes his living by haggling. If I worried about that sort of thing, I'd starve to death in this city. Right, what is this? That's just... We don't get why we have to put it at the rat poop instead of just a master like, monster slayer in the world's largest they're just like uh, spreading it out evenly Jeez. Is one of them outside? I think I've checked everything here. Ready? Not yet. Uh huh. Maybe down there. Ooh, I can steal some stuff here. Steal all your booze. find rat droppings but boost we'll have to do all right get in here no we already were here not here locked get down It has to be in in there. Maybe here? No. Don't miss a woman's touch. Maybe there somewhere? No. Yeah, it has to be inside, right?
It's basically some, something where rats congregate. What are they doing, the rats? Well, they all come to that one spot. Got one hole there, one over there. Oh, here's the third one. Okay, there we go. Think I plugged every hole in there. All right, get ready for some magic fireworks. Once I activate the incense, we'll have a moment to talk. Scurry away. Interesting method. Never had much luck with rats. Once I hit one with a fork in complete darkness, trying to show off my witcher's senses. Masterful throw, really. Problem was, no one else saw it. How could they in the dark? <laughs> so, what do you think? Rat catcher? It's a long way to fall from being advisor to Temeria's king. I'm just glad to see you safe and sound. Reconciled? Knew a man once who reacted to everything, especially adversity, by mocking it. Healthy attitude. Must have lived long. Came a day he lost both his legs in battle. He shrugged, said it was better that way. He'd never feel pain in them again. I understand him perfectly. I know. Thing is, he was lying to himself. I think he just didn't have much of a choice. You could be right, but only he knows the truth. We're only ever the ones to know the truth about ourselves. Which we share at times with those we hold dear. Even if it's hard to swallow? Even then. Who knows? Maybe one day. So, tell me how Yen's doing? How do you know I found her? You didn't answer my question. How's Yen? Hi there, Ben. She's fine. That's good. Asking about anything specific? Never mind. I got my answer. Well, well. Are lovebirds having themselves a little chat instead of working? The job's done. Geralt, those are... I know who they are, Triss. My friends begged me to notify them if I encountered a mage, sorceress, what have you. Didn't have the heart to refuse. It's a trap, Geralt. This stank from the start. Let's agree your friends were never here. Now pay the rest and let's part in peace. You don't set the terms, mutant. Stay out of it. We're here for the witch. We're inseparable, see? Afraid you'll have to take us both. Geralt! If you say so. All right, we've talked. Do what you gotta. Just remember, I can't help but get in your way. Heard enough from this horse, son. As have I. Neither is to leave here alive. Not very strong. This bastard hired me on the assumption he wouldn't have to pay me, duped and trapped like a child. If not for you, 
We need to find Brandon. Leave the warehouse, okay, great quest. Don't kill me. Good sir, no. They forced me. Had I not told them, they'd have set fire to my home, my warehouse. The mage hunters know no mercy. Spare me, good man. Be not like those murderers. Shut up. I should kill you. Thing is, you'd be no good to anyone but the gulls as a corpse. So you'll live and pay us double. Now. Fine. Your coin. Now, get. Thanks, Geralt. You should try to keep better company. He was still better than some mages. You know, I've been thinking who might know something about Ciri. And I just got an idea. There's an Oniromancer in town, Kareen Tilly. Very capable, supposedly. Never What's trust an the Dreamer's abilities myself. Yeah. Kareen's been very effective. You should at least try. She's taken a job close by. Follow the canal away from the fish market. The house is near the first bridge. Its owner, Dijon Kier, is a rich banker. Not coming with me? I've got some things to take care of. Another rat-infested warehouse? Not exactly. Nothing even remotely satisfying. Such are the times. It was nice to see you again. You too, Geralt. You should go now. Before Kareen goes back into hiding somewhere. What if I want to find you? I live in the bits, near the fish market. Stop by. It'd be nice. All right. See you later. Okay. Um, we can level up. Okay, as for character. Okay, what do we want? He wants to put in the Geralt Kit Kat, yep. Um, what do I want? I don't think alchemy is that important. Ocean overdose threshold, that's fine. Toxicity is above zero, time automatically slows when an enemy is about to form a counter attack. Okay. I don't know about that. Um, oh, this useful. Maybe some of these for, for, for some dialogue options. But I think first first we want to get some more combat stuff. So now we've got... 4% chance of crit and 25% crit damage. Next one is basically doubled. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. Hold on. Right. You've got all that in here.
Oh, we need to have this in here as well. We really forgot about that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, we also have another mutagen. Um, for these, fatality, that's not very good. Attack power. Like, why not? Okay. Why am I walking so slow now? Oh, because I have too much uh, stuff. Are there any merchants nearby where I can sell my shit? I wasn't in combat before, what? Why? Gotta be some merchants here. We can sell some of my shit. Looking good. You're a merchant. Sell me stuff or buy my stuff. I guess not. Wait, where's the merchant? I'm gonna replay Witcher 3. Okay. I've convinced you. Have I? Welcome. Welcome. What have you got there? Let's see what he's got there. But more importantly, what he's gonna buy. Right, 34 armor piercing. That seems pretty good. Not sure how much that le the, what that even does. Like how what the mechanism is there. I'm guessing it's worse. It's bad. It's bad. This one is also bad. Solid two. Um, I guess this one, this one is worse. Also, oh, they're both medium. Yeah, I think we'll sell this. And. What other heavy stuff do we have? Doesn't weigh anything. Oh, there's actually different currencies in this game. Oh, annoying. This looks heavy. This kind of heavy.
What else is heavy? Low tide. Rotting flesh. Broken rakes. Okay. All these crafting this crafting stuff doesn't weigh anything. Okay. Stuff that could still we have quite a bit of stuff. That's okay. We got so long. You know, 20-ish room to grow. Let's go talk to the dreamer. Help, save me. There she is, I suppose. Oh, did I go in here? No. Where do you enter? Just passing by, wanderer? Or do you seek something specific? Who's asking? Rudolf de Jonkier. Of those de Jonkiers, yes. My ancestors laid the foundations of this city. I now own its largest bank. Didn't need a recommendation. Name would have been enough. Father always said, all ought to know your merit, son. Don't hide them under a bushel. I'm looking for Kareen Tilly. Well, you've come to the right place, then. Kareen is inside. Been there for a few days, dreaming the home's history. Why do you need to know the house's history? You a historian or on a whim? I bought this property a short while ago. Paid a pretty penny, I might add. Soon after, I witnessed disturbances. Led me to fear the home might be haunted. What are the symptoms? Oh, th they vary. Giggling in the night. And furniture moving about in the attic. And last week, well, you shan't believe it. I found human feces in the parlor. Not interested in what's going on inside? Seeing it for yourself? I'm a banker. Cursed homes scare me. Do you know how a haunting can affect property value? Point of fact, Corinne requested she not be disturbed. I'd like to go inside, look around. I don't usually let strangers rummage around my home. Twin swords, though. You're a witcher. You may enter, call that my whim. Right. Truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Mountains, economically. Let's repay his trust by stealing everything. Can afford it. Don't do that. Leave it. I'm basically, I'm basically like Robin Hood, is, uh, except don't I don't give my stuff away to the poor. Break through there with the with the sign thingy. The rich landlord. I mean, he's mostly a banker. Hmm. 
What is going on in this house? What? Oh, it's an uh, upper story as well. That's where she is. Very revealing clothing. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it, please. Yeah, yeah, he said that already. It's who puts Stop. a can candelabra can inside of do a it. pot like that? Weird. <laughs> Wait, where do we get to the attic? It's, is it here? That's good. Way to the next room is blocked. not no loot left behind exactly except when we're carrying too much that's the rag doll drawing of a crib Paper on which a grip has been hastily drawn. Strange stuff. A doll. Drawing shows it lying in a cradle. Maybe I should find one. So much stuff there. Let's find a cradle. Put it down, please. That's blood. Don't spill it, please. Oh, there's more stuff. Let me put the doll in there. Are we fight something? Maybe? Another masterpiece. 
An oven and a blackened grate. No oh, joy. A riddle. Saw an oven in the cellar. Maybe I'll find another clue there. Okay. Go to the cellar. Of wee little Sarah. Ain't that funny? I wouldn't do that anymore if I were you, Sarah. You might scare someone so bad they'll hurt you. Why would someone hurt me? Having a spot of fun's not allowed anymore. What are you playing? That lady fell asleep, and I've sent her some horrible dreams. I'll not her wake neither. I can do that, you know. Funny, isn't it? Very funny. Thing is, I gotta talk to the dreamer, so I'd like you to let her wake up. Little Sarah doesn't want her to wake. Little Sarah wants to play. You're lucky. I know you're a harmless godling, but others might not know, and then... And how'd you know I'm a godling, eh? How's that, eh? Eh? If it looks like one and acts like one, trust me, you're a godling. You give the dreamer nightmares and won't let her wake up. Why are you tormenting her? tormenting anyone scary dreams are great what i love is when this big hen chases me hen's got these red why do you live in a haunted house tell you a secret <laughs> the house ain't haunted not one bit i just pretend it is make everyone think that it was sitting there all empty so i moved in bigwig from the bank then came and bought it i don't like bankers especially not to live with so I decided to give him a scare. Gave the banker a really big scare. See, he paid a lot for this house and won't give it up easily, which is why you need to find another home. I don't want to! I don't! I won't! Sarah, Novigrad's no place for a godling. But if you want to live here, that's your business. So let's make a deal. A deal? What kind? Leave the dreamer alone. In exchange, I'll tell the banker the house is haunted. For good, no way to lift the curse. You tell him that? What if he doesn't believe you? I'm a witcher. He'll believe me. Yes? 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 Do that and I promise not to bother your friend. Not even a little. You're awfully nice, you know. I don't hear that often. Thanks. Now go wake that sleepyhead. I won't stop her. She'll get up. Okay. <laughs> Let's talk to the inappropriately dressed woman. Who are you? Triss Marigold sent me to see you. Gods. Horrible nightmares. I was supposed to dream the history of this house. Instead, I saw furniture. Hungry furniture that wished to devour me. I know it must sound foolish. But in the dream... Well, it was all too real. And not at all amusing. The work of a godling. She made people believe the house was haunted. Also injected your dreams with her little jokes. And you managed to wake me. I feel fortunate. We witchers have our ways. I thank you very much. The dreams, they were awful. Any way I can pay you back? There is, actually. I'm looking for a young woman who was seen in Novigrad. I can certainly try to help. But I'll need to clear my head first. After those deranged dreams, I feel it's full of cobwebs. Find me at the Golden Sturgeon. I rent a room there. All right. See you there. This one thing I don't understand. This guy is like one of the richest 
bankers uh, of the city he's he belongs to this you know incredibly wealthy family and he's got nothing better to do than sit all day outside of this haunted house I mean, I'm sure he, mu he must uh, own multiple properties. And this is not, it doesn't look like a very nice house either. Is Stalingrad in the game? No. But I mean, the, the Witcher universe is influenced quite a bit by, you know, Slavic uh, stuff. And so. Place names that in the grads are perfectly appropriate, I suppose. I saw Miss Corrine leave, but she refused to speak to me. Is the matter resolved? Or quite the opposite? A bit of both. A demon had captured Corrine. I managed to free her, but the house is still haunted. Did Corrine dream of the building's past? Yeah. Pretty horrid, apparently, though she refused to talk about it. Nobody should inhabit the place. So many crowns I paid! Oh, well. It shan't put me in the poorhouse. The second sword. Is it in case the first one breaks? Smart. Truth is, we're already dependent on the black bombs economically. So he's he's this high-powered banker, and all he does is hang out outside this house for no reason. Okay, bit weird. Also, why why is why is the door broken in? Like this this doesn't look, does not look like the kind of house that you know a, a, an incredibly rich person would like to buy. Looks like very run down. Is it in case the first one break? Okay, let's talk to Corinne. Whoa! You need a Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. In the front. We <laughs> totally repair all the weapons. Need something sharpened, reforged. like you to craft something for me think you can all right um anything interesting we want i don't have for that dorian sword now nah, this is much worse than what you have yeah this is much worse than all everything you have no sense. We'll just go and repair some stuff. Yeah, our equipped stuff. Oh, let's actually look at what I'm wearing. So long. Dorian words, where's the Lydian sword or Oh Dorian sword? I don't know. I don't make the rules. So this is sixty six armor. Now uh, we can sell or dismantle these guys. Also worse than what we have. This is much worse okay so we will get rid of these guys rip some weight need something sharpened refill like it all right um dismantle Dorian is the modal key and there's seven others. Okay. 
must admit I don't know very much about music theory. All right, that's good enough. What do you have on offer? Maybe he has something useful to actually sell. It's all too high level. Oh, we can maybe get some repair thingies. Repair kits. No? Oh yeah, that's here. Repairing weapons. Okay. That's good enough. So long. Dorians, I think as it also actually refers to some sort of region in Greece. Best deal around. One for the price of two. Oh, uh, maybe where where this uh, name comes from in the game, but who knows? Gimme Vivaldi cheats. The dwarven banker Oh no I read I read Gimme Vivaldi. Vimy Vivaldi is a villain in the cheese. Using typical non human trickery, he conned his way to victory over me, then forced with the man that I surrender my cards with the slightest consolation or giving me the chance for a rematch. Okay. Uh, help some fellas out, Master. We're a bit of coin short when I'm around. Because we're comrades, see? Witcher, ain't you? We're butchers. You slaughter, we slaughter. Except witches are more. Old villagers pitching. Lords out with their purses. Ladies do like with their legs. Guess I've been to the wrong villages. Dealt with the wrong lords and ladies. Come on, don't make us beg. What's the witcher for anyways? It's to help men in need. I think they've had enough. Believe me, doing you a big favor by not giving you coin. Now let me through. Whoa, master. You best watch your words. We share a trade, but that don't mean you can treat us like dogs. Sh shut it. We'll bring misfortune on us. He's a witcher, can't you see? <laughs> I can't just say you're tired, go home. Without a delusion, don't tell him to fuck off. Out of my way. We won't do it. I will. I'll not take orders from anyone. In fact, not the least of fear to teach a witcher some manners. Okay. All right. Guys, really weak. Okay. Enough. Have you seen your point, Master? Go home. You're done here. Okay, I got 25 experience for that pointless little thing. Burgers and purchases of the free city of Novigrad. Master Clayton, that would be me, has the honor to Stop staring, you'll jinx our work. Boring. Hey, what? What's wrong with you? You screwed! If she's down here somewhere. <laughs> no? Maybe she's in the upstairs. Did 
Been here, been there. Same shite everywhere. The seas are tossing, tossing, and the wind blowing, blowing. Where the fuck is she? Oh, there she is. Got her own room. You sure you're a dream mage thingy and not a prostitute? Because appearances are otherwise. A dream in here. Never witnessed a seance like this before, let alone participated. I will guide you. We must first achieve a kind of mental accord. I must ask some questions. You must answer them. It's important you're truthful. Answer from your heart. Your gift. Tell me how it works. It's hard to describe. To start with, I must gain an understanding of the bond between the person and the object I'm to dream about. I ask questions. Try to flesh out feelings, emotions. Truth is essential in this. And though most who come to me acknowledge that, many refuse to speak openly of certain matters. Apart from which, they remain unaware of others, further obscuring things. What do you see in your dreams? I don't. It's my client who sees. My gift lies in summoning the right dreams. At times, nightmares or strong desires impose themselves on true events. It takes skill to separate seed from chaff. Let's do this. Let's begin. To start with, tell me a memory you have of this woman. What for? Do as I ask, please. I need the strongest, most complete memory you have of... Siri. The woman's name is Siri. I accepted a job once. Did it. Asked to choose my reward, I invoked the law of surprise. Never thought I'd actually meet the child promised to me at that time. Years later, I was in the Broccolon forest. Happened on a girl there, didn't know who she was. The Dryads wanted to keep her, turn her into one of their own. But the waters of oblivion, they failed in her case. Siri came out of Broccolon with me. I sent her back to her grandmother then. But already, I felt bound to her. By destiny. By something more. Thank you. Would you be willing to share another memory? What the fuck is he on about? Some backstory stuff. I haven't read the books, but uh, this like matches up more or less with what's what was in the in the Witcher TV show. Yes. So he's he's, he's looking for Siri, who's like sort of his adopted daughter. <coughs> Siri was orphaned during the second war with Nilfgaard. I had no idea what to do with a young girl. So I did what I would have done with a boy and took her to Kaer Morhen. Figured some physical training, sword work, development of her stamina couldn't hurt. I remember her standing on a crumbling wall. A stone came loose, she lost her footing, caught her at the last possible instant. Strongest memory though, is of her coming out of her room one day wearing a dress and claiming she was indisposed knew then that siri was maturing it was unavoidable i was lost in the face of that i see do you wish to tell me anything more that law i have no idea about yeah it's uh, there's this thing in the witcher universe called the law of surprise it's like if you're um i don't Fully understand it, but so, uh, he sort of he, um, he like uh, uh, helped helped out uh, you know Siri's parents, and you know saved her father and um, invoked the law of surprise, um, which meant that somehow he's got some sort of claim on 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 their daughter and he's. Uh, I don't know. He's, that that that's why he sort of has a bond with her. 
all this happened in previous game no 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 this didn't happen in any of the games um the games actually all take place uh, after the books this, this happened in the books and and also on the in the in the show yes i think so in that case i'm listening oops let's continue please i wanted to, do, to show the other ones as well <laughs> never mind you claim the woman has abilities tell me about them She's a child of the Elder Blood. A descendant of Bloody Falker. The rebel burned at the stake. Mm. The prophecies claim the world's destroyer will be born of the Firebrand's cursed blood. Pure legend. No one a legend transforms into prophecy. When it gains believers. I think you're right to be reticent in talking about the woman. I see. Do you wish to say more? Uh, yes, I saw the Netflix series. Siri, the Lady of Space and Time. Once I asked Yennefer why, she travels between worlds. <sighs> Turns out I don't know how to talk about it. Didn't really understand much of what Yen told me. I just know there's more to it than traveling to different places, and that Siri carries immense power in her blood. I see. Do you wish to say more? So, the, the, so I, I kind of liked the Netflix series, but it, it was it was not like it was not great. I right, give it like a six out of ten or a seven out of ten. There were some some definite problems. Like the uh, like the first season is like seriously confusing yeah. at the start because they've got like four or five different timelines going on. There's not really any good indication of where you are in which timeline, so it gets very confusing. Um. And then the second second season is just kind of is 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 more is simpler in terms of narrative, but it's also just less interesting. I remember Siri having trouble controlling her abilities. And also apparently diverges even more from the law. Simple spells, and Siri destroyed a shed near the temple where they were. Really upset her. It was just an old shed. I know it took her a while to gain control, and frankly, I doubt she controls her abilities fully to this day. I see. Do you wish to say more? No. Can we start? Naturally. I knew you cared about her. But your tone, the emotions you so carefully conceal. Let's continue, please. Make yeah, so Henry Cavill is still going to be on season three, which has already been filmed, but from season four onwards, they're going to have someone else. Forgot who he was. Who could be at her side? Mm -hmm. If Siri couldn't find me. I'm sure she would have looked for another friend. Who do you mean? Maybe Dandelion. They liked each other a lot. Okay, kind of a strange dream. That's dandelion, I suppose. But what, what's what's this bird? Must be crazy hot in their clothing. Maybe. You don't know where he is. Maybe it's very cold where he is. Are you talking about Dandelion's um, clothes or, or Geralt's? <sighs> Dreamt of a swallow at first. After that, just nightmares. At times the dreams can multiply. Show the past oh, the future. 
Yeah, it doesn't actually look that hard. It symbolizes Siri. Probably, probably rather airy and doesn't sit that close to the skin. he was in town. The poet heard about him. Someone left him the rosemary and thyme in their will. The rosemary and thyme? Where is that? As you enter the city through the red light district, you come upon a bridge. The rosemary is just past it. Dandelion inherited a brothel? So I've heard. Thanks for your help. Good luck, Witcher. I hope you find your Siri. That was it? I don't know, that was a bit unsatisfying. Who's that guy? Yes. Yes. But that was it? <coughs> All of this to find out that Dandelion owns a brothel? Hey, okay, whatever. We can gather it here or at my desk. Yes, we are visiting a brothel. Now you out of my way, strumpet. Oh. No, what? There must be order. Wine's good because it's good and cheap. Mm, okay. Seems reasonable. And we fix it for you. No. Should all come snake to the room twice. Got a snake's tongue as well. He can be both. Won't find any better. From the Yoruga to the Dragon Mountains. Who can be both? Dandelion, probably a dev. What do you mean? As much as life. Oh, I've had enough of living. Gods heard the land's cries. People long waited is over. King Radamud will save the north. Oh. That's the back door or something. Oh, you asked the person the portal in the wall was. Oh, okay, that might be. That might be a, a dev, that's true. Next time I'll rip your fucking legs off and shove them up your ass till you've toes for teeth. In the nick of time, as always. Zoltan, with your boot to someone's ass, as always. Who were those men? Local color. I wasn't they going more than a moment. Long enough for them to turn our home into theirs. All right, time for some spring cleaning. I've got to boot them all out. Care to join me? With pleasure. Not your lucky day. He just punched, punched this wooden post there. Come on. There we go. Ah, uh, please. That went well. Now we can greet each other like the gods ordained. Ages, pal. Hey, Zoltan. You look good. Training plenty lately. What with the war on, no Mahakaman meat to be found, but Redanian lagers standing in just fine. You, though, you've weathered a bit. 
Something worrying you? It's about Siri. I know she came to Novigrad. Might still be here. You mean she's come back? I'll be damned. I wonder if I'd recognize her. How many years is it now? Six? Seven? But what'd she be doing here? Hiding, probably. She might be in danger. See her in your dreams? Couple times. Her and the Wild Hunt. Oh, not good. Not at all, but I know she came here and contacted Dandelion. <sighs> We've a wee problem then. Where's Dandelion? <laughs> I'd like to know that myself. Maybe he could explain what the hell's going on. I just barely returned as you saw. Expecting to come home to your hot like a boar and some cold ale, and what do you find instead? A shite storm! Dandelion gone, the tavern chocked full of bums. Have no clue what happened. Mm -hmm. Let's look around. Might find something that'll put us on his trail. Prime idea. I say we start on the ground floor. It's where he sat and wrote. of Tucson Dry, five cases of sodden triple mead. Hmm, nothing here. No, 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 that's exactly what we're looking for. It says planner. Huh, <laughs> dandelion and planning, good one. Besides, anything he wrote here probably had a special system. Chaos only he could ever decipher. Actually, in the past, sometimes not even that. Give him a chance. Might not be that bad. Seems when he inherited this fine establishment, it came with some fine responsibilities. Bookkeeping among them. He also made a habit of noting down the times of his meetings, official and private. So, who'd he been seeing of late? Ah, here it is. Hmm. Seems he's only been meeting women of late, the dog. Hmm, not a bad idea. Dandelion's pretty loose-lipped. Might have blabbed something to a lady friend that'll put us on his trail. That's what I'm counting on. Hmm, we should divide these somehow. Perhaps... Ah, fuck it. I'll ask the lassies in my half, you interrogate the ones in yours. Should you? Zoltan, wait. This is in verse. And you figure that's unnatural because? Wonderful. Meet me back here when you're done. Share our findings. Right, you are. Need to do a wee bit of tidying before I go. Cannot stomach the idea of coming back to this mess. And you'd be wise to read your bit before you scurry off. If you need anything, I'll be next door. Right. Let's read. Books. Um. Is it? What? Which is it? Um, there's so many pieces of writing here. Wait, where is it?
Oh, request items. Oh, okay. Okay. Rosa Var Atre. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. A charming garden enclosed villa in Gildorf. Molly, the well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not bra when gripped in lust's embrace. Gildorf, villa next to the morgue. Vespula, though timid in looks, no adventure did skip her. My heart melts when she asks, ever had a big dipper? All right, all right, all right. Okay, it's like one, two, three, four, five women. All right. Can we go and steal some stuff from here? We can. That's it. We checked that one already. So I'm a bit confused what this place is. Is it is it a brothel or is is it is it an inn? What's, what's with all this stuff here? In the weird. Oh, okay. and also, there's a stash here. I guess it's downstairs. There's another floor there. Locked, key required. Oh, there's more stuff here. Right, got some salpeter sitting there around for some reason. Store some of our stuff. And actually look at some of the stuff that we have in storage, whether you can use it yet. Nope. All still too high level. Alright. Still here? Looking for something? Ah, just checking to see that everything's in place. Buggers made a hold something off a pawning. Actually, glad you're still here. Wanted to ask you about someone. Though well she knows the touch of silk and lace, she shuns not straw when gripped in lust's embrace. Molly, keeps things tidy for the Baroness Lavalette. A baroness within reach, and he settled for a chambermaid? Dandelion's not one to judge folk by their station. You know that. Like he says, in the alcove, we're all equals. Yeah. Guess a true poet observes life in all its aspects, examines it from all perspectives. If I didn't know him better, I'd say he was jealous about this Marabella. Oh, I doubt it. Former pupil. And <laughs> well, the tales he told me about her. Doubt I want to hear them. Probably better off not. Things between them took a turn for the strange at some point. Meaning? She had them wearing mummer's costumes. Took to calling them Christian. Referring to herself as Anastasia. Huh. Truly perverse. 
He did a kind of for it. Called him a stallion once. That's the fool trigger as a compliment. Till she pulled a bit in the reins into her cupboard. Ho <laughs> ho! Poor bastard fled out the window. Vespula. Name rings a bell. She threw his knickers out the window. That's her. Hollered something about him being a scoundrel with a voice like a consumptive pheasant. That's her. Threw flower pots at him. Guess soul flames never die. Like a rose abashed of its crimson hue, fair Rosa would sink into humor's blue. She shunned her lessons in civility to swing her dwarf with agility. Dwarf. Never suspected he'd be so humble. <laughs> Dwarfs what Rosa Var Atre named her Guhir. Well chosen, eh? Her dad's an of guardian aristocrat with the Imperial Legation. Commissioned Dandelion to tutor Rosa and her sister in the art of rhetoric. But we, Rosa, preferred swordplay. How dare she reject the great bard in favor of a common swordmaster? Well, then one, it seems. Week on week, we get fresh gossip about her thrashing another instructor. So bad he resigns. Word has it her dad's now looking to hire our next victim. I mean, instructor. A figure most rare, her nature dual. Look deep in her eyes or be made a fool. Well, well. Seems fascinated with this one. Ah, uh, not without reason. Never been much for elven women myself, but this one's exceptional. Dare say Francesca Finderbeard be jealous. You want to take this one, then? Nah, you can have her. Why? You see, elven beauty is like a young Beauclair wine. Whereas I prefer vodka straight up. Okay. Well, know about all I wanted to know. Thanks for your help. I guess we'll talk to these women now. Lice it, yeah. Oh, you make it dwarf. Oh, let it go, Jarrett. Come on. Uh, you need you'd normally pay for that. Hmm? <laughs> you try the king of beggars. Have we done any monster contract yet? A uh, few. Not that many. We're mostly keeping to the the main quests and and some side quests. I will get you every last copper with interest. Give me a week, please. Horson's no banker. He's an honest man. You pay on time, you get protection. You don't pay. Help! What you all are in for, stupid wench? What are you hoping for? A knight in shining armor? Close enough. Keep out of this, Greyhead. Not your concern. Vespula's got someone else's protection now. Really? Who's that be? Mine. Offered her a better rate. All right. So, let's see if you're a good bargain or just cheap shit. People are awfully willing to die here. Shooting at me. With an invisible crossbow, apparently. Or did he have like throwing knives or something? Thank me. It was nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Don't get me wrong. I'm grateful, but everything I had, I just lost. Relax. It'll come out in the wash. 
course it will. Just got to soak it in white vinegar. But that's not my point. Junior shan't forgive me. Either I'll close up shop myself or he'll burn me down. Sorry. Didn't think about that. A woman's lot. Men have their fun and we're stuck with a mess. Oh, well. I suppose I must move to Oxenfurt. Professors need clean undergarments, too. Don't know if you remember. We've met. I don't... Wait. Wait, I know you. You're that witcher I near clobbered with a vase when... Well... When you kicked Dandelion out. Through the balcony. Actually, he's the reason I'm here. Know where he is? Probably out whoring. That horse pheasant. That lion scoundrel. Ouch. What did he do to get your goat? Same thing as ever. Prize bullshitter came back, saying it was till death do we part this time. And no more than a week passed before I spotted him in Harborside, strolling with some trollop on his arm. It was the last straw. All those questions about the washerwomen at the bathhouse, then this. I beat him black and blue and threw him out on his ear. Dandelion ask you about other washerwomen? Not terribly subtle, even for him. Maybe he likes some sudsy. Ah, uh, maybe. But what did he ask about, exactly? Oh, this and that, really. What's it like at the bathhouse? Have I got any friends there? What are their working hours? I don't know. Maybe he's looking to hire one for his tavern. Maybe I got all in a huff for no reason. This woman he was with in the harbour. Who was she? Claimed she was his niece from Covia. Ha! <laughs> Horvia, more likely. Corset so tight her eyes were popping out her head. His too, come to think of it. An artist or a whore. Doesn't much matter as they're one in the same. Thanks for your help. Listen, when I find Dandelion, anything I should tell him? No. I mean, tell him he's a two-faced snake, but it would be nice if he dropped by. <laughs> okay. Where the corpse is. Right, one down. Five to go, I think. Wait, another one is even further out. They're starving in this evening, then. They eat horses. In the free city of Novograd, only the humans have Why don't you uh, just get off my back? Sick! Sick of it all! Oh, lot. What? It's outside here. Yeah, that's one here. For Elial. You've come to the right spot. How might I be of service? Need something shortened? Patch your trousers, darn your socks. What's he wearing? Is that like you a sort of cot piece? Yes. Now pick your jaw up off the floor. Sorry, I thought. Thought Elial was one of Dandelion's girlfriends. Ah, oh, so it's that. Wait here. Any better? So you're... Elihau. Did you and Dandelion... I mean... How did you two meet? I met him one night in a tavern. He was blind drunk. What happened? What do you think? We spoke. That's it. I'm not sure what you're getting at. 
but I should make one thing clear. Men don't interest me. Told him that as well. Luckily, Dandelion's an open-minded fellow. We had a lovely evening. He became a loyal customer afterwards. I know this is none of my business, but why do you... Why do I dress up? As a child, I dreamt of becoming a Doppler when I grew up. I became a tailor instead. Discovered clothing. Costumes can express all the complexities of one's personality. I'm a Redanian countess one day, a Doxite thug the next. That is true freedom. Mm -hmm. Have you never thought to become someone else? Even for a moment? Must be horribly boring being a witcher all the time. I managed to stay interested. What did you and Dandelion talk about? He asked about anything in particular? Hmm, let me think. Had an ordinary chat, really. Although, indeed, he did keep asking about Kalkstein. If Dandelion and I hadn't laid our cards on the table at the start, I might have suspected he had a history with the alchemist. He spoke like a lovesick beau. In fact, he desperately wished to meet with him. Kalkstein's in Novigrad? Wouldn't mind seeing him myself. You're too late, I fear. The witch hunters nabbed him recently, burned him at the stake in Hierarch Square. But as he perished, ooh, the goings on, impressive. Fiery beasts circled his pyre, then rose into the sky and exploded to form letters. Really? What did they spell? Radovid sucks <laughs> flaccid cock. Dandelion visit your shop often? I tried many times to talk him into a decent doublet. Sadly, he'd only come in to get a button reaffixed or a hole patched. When did you last see him? Some time ago. He brought in one of Zoltan's jerkins, insisted I sew on an extra pocket. Odd as requests go, I had the distinct feeling he'd actually come to talk. Thanks for your help, and uh, nice to meet you. I can help with much more. If you need new trousers or a vest, you know where to find me. Okay. We know where to find him. Just keep walking instead of riding in the city. What? What? Oh, this is like. Ostan is some sort of prime boss or something? Apparently. No, he doesn't like me. Okay, I can live with that. the bumper Marabella school for tots where they will learn reading and writing in respect for the guards yeah it's look a bit creepy excuse me I'm looking for Marabella she wait outside class is in session sorry can't wait 
Hear about Dandelion. I'm Geralt, and I'm... Geralt? I know you. Fine. If you're eager to join in the lesson, you're welcome to. Children, sadly the rat catcher has a fever today, but in his stead, we're honored to welcome a witcher, who will now tell us about his trade. Ah, uh, but... This is grand! You shan't disappoint them, will you? So, who would like to ask the first question? Me! What's it mean that witches are lecturers? <laughs> it means that due to our mutations, we have an overdeveloped libido. Libido? When a girl likes a witcher, the witcher says, What will you give me for killing a monster? And she says, Anything you want. So the witcher says, Heh heh heh. Then you'll give me something you weren't expecting at all. And that's where little witches come from. <laughs> Children, what's the meaning of this? Next question. Is it true witches kill kings? Don't believe everything they say about witchers. What about animals? They don't like you. My mum says animals don't like bad folk. Tomcat ever hiss at you? You stole many kids. Enough. That is all for today. <laughs> Gather your things and I shall see you in the morning. <laughs> Bid farewell to Master Geralt. It's great you came. Mm, I'd have rather had the rat catcher. So please do tell me, why are you here? Thanks. That was an ordeal. I think I'd rather face a swarm of Neckers than a class of ten-year-olds. The rat catcher had no objections. Oh yeah? How's he feeling? He's dead. Bubonic plague, it seems. I didn't want to upset the children. But you wish to speak of Dandelion? I know you saw Dandelion recently. Oh yes. Longest afternoon of my life. He read you his poems? No. He perused the illustrated guide to fungi. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. No. Won't even try to guess why he wanted to do that. Mold. That was his interest. When his hand abandoned my knee to point at a figure of penicillium, I knew the fire between us had died. Permanently. See Dandelion after the fungus incident? No. I even considered granting him another chance. His heart of hearts is pure gold. He simply needs a bit more discipline in his life. But he never came back to see me. So I thought if it's done, it's done. Found a poem Dandelion wrote about you. Portrayed you as an unusually talented individual. Really? Did he mention my poetry? Horses have always fascinated me. I've always longed to extol their noble beauty. Did you see any of my work at Dandelions? Mere exercise is true, but I'd be curious to know what you thought of them. Uh, no, no. Didn't see any. Gee up! Her snakely whip rose skyward. Gee haw! Crack! She reined the beast in. <laughs> the stallion danced betwixt her thighs. Lather bathed its chinny chin chin. What the Sorry, fuck? don't know much <laughs> about poetry. Thanks for your help. Farewell. Okay. You're stupid. Lasses can't be witches or witcheresses. Who's so son? Everybody knows it. Oh, oh, red hey, not like that. Let's talk to the next woman here. That's a nice lo looking this building. Baronet's love Let's villa. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone.
Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet. And know each other. Surprising. Yeah, we had an opportunity to, uh, talk when the Emperor summoned me to Vizima. Had you run afoul of Var Emery's? No. You'd be long dead if that were so. It seems, then, that you share some interests. But I shan't question you out of doors. Will you accept my invitation? Tell me what brings you here. Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maid servant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there... On our way, then. Okay. Get some horse racing. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The grey mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Gray's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the black stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Alright, let's have a little race. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? I have no idea, which is good. The Grey Mare looks nimble. Besides, a man named Kyer once. I'll go with her. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. In that case, I shall try my luck on the Zeracanian Bay. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. Okay. Riders ready! Faster. Come on. I adore the speed, the rush of air. Don't spare the horse. Need to add a kick mechanic, yeah. Let's see what you're made of. 
This horse riding is a little bit boring, to be honest. Thanks. For one for whom every horse is a roach, you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle. My congratulations. That is yours. Now, could I talk to your chambermaid, milady? Ah, oh, yes, Molly. That is why you came here, after all. The portly young woman. That's her. Speak to her. And you must find us when you're ready to return. She doesn't look very portly. We'd be delighted to join you for the journey. <clears throat> Washed your hair lately. Piss off. Not very polite for a servant. Not portly? What are you talking about? I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? That's right. Except it's the other way around. I'm always saving him. Mean to say it weren't Dandelion saved you in Flotsam by severing your noose with an arrow from an hundred paces? What? Dandelion couldn't... <sighs> Never mind. Any idea where our master archer might be at the moment? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But... <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they're different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... Know where I can find her, Dandelion's sister? I know. Whenever I ask Dandelion when we visit her, he'd grow all quiet and then change the subject. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why do you need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. He said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. And he'd sing me arias. But I've not seen him since. Yeah. Thanks, Molly. Wait, before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful. Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Encumbered. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> oh well, another freak. What's this uh, saddlebag we got? There's on the saddle bag, just the horse hide. Um, no, or is it still sitting there? Yeah, it's still sitting there. Another drifter in from Tamaria. <clears throat> Washed your hair lately. No.
Wait, where's the... Oh, there we go. Oh, I haven't equipped that yet. Oh! Right. Okay. Run spider like monsters, just farm them until I get five to six red mutagens. Okay. Um wait, where's the Where are they? Oh wait, up up there they are. Let's return with them. I actually need to use the loo real quick though. Be right back. Okay. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. This morning, my Twitter came back from the market with news. Some mysterious. Ah, Geralt! What can I do for you? Big changes afoot in the Empire. You've no notion? The Emperor summoned you. He only ever summons with reason. It's clear he seeks his daughter. You know a lot. I must. I am my father's son. What's your father got to do with this? Um, he is close to the Emperor. And knows the opposition. Knows they press for abdication. Ceding the throne to Cyrilla, it's the best the Emperor can do. But, as is known, an Empress needs an Emperor at her side. 
My father will ensure the right man is chosen. Farewell. Step away, Witcher. Step away, Witcher. There's more notices. What? Okay. The tent. I read all that. Or we can sell some stuff. What kind of shop is this? Don't be shy now. Looking doesn't cost a thing. There's plenty to behold. This here is a collection of wonders that belong to the mage Eremas. A once in a lifetime opportunity. How do you get a hold of these? Never heard of a mage willingly parting with his treasures? No one asked Eremas his will. He was burned at the stake a fortnight ago. Strange they didn't burn his stuff with him. Witch hunters let you resell it just like that? Why wouldn't they? These are common goods, some valuable only as collectibles, perhaps. All right, I get it. These items aren't actually common. Rumor has it, each is an enchanted key. Rumor happened to mention where to find the locks these keys open? Sadly, no. What if I knew you could hardly expect me to sell them? Where did Aramas live? At a lovely residence south of Oxenford. Badly damaged now, as he made the hunters pay dearly for his skin. Show me what you have. Okay. That's all ability points spent. Oh, so you can um, respec for a thousand points. Oops, I didn't actually want to buy that. No refunds. Yeah. Okay, let's buy these quest items, I suppose. I don't care about Gwen, so I'm not doing that. Can we sell something? Okay. Farewell. Statuette of a man. It wasn't carved, but produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. You are an offense to the majesty of the eternal fire. Go back to Far Okay, let's talk to the last woman. Did I chase the pansy all the way to the garden? Oh, did you catch him? I no, kneel no. before you. Driving and slippery, the bugger was quick as a tomcat. Right. Hey, keep your distance. What do you want? Want to see Rose of Aratra? Oh, mate, if you only knew what I want. Miss Rosa don't see just anybody. I'm Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Soon as Miss Rosa turns into a striker, I'm sure her papa will send for you, but she's not showing any symptoms yet, so I venture you're not needed. On your way now. Thanks, we ain't looking for no witcher. What? And I tell the um, I'm the sword instructor. Being a witcher is not exclusive you know with being with not being a sword instructor. Right. 
find their way into the villa. I kneel before you, O oh Eternal. Well, well, another freak. <laughs> another freak. What? Okay. Yeah, loot this. There's actually a lot of stuff there. There, a way up there. Uh. Screen again. What? Alright. There you go. Ah, these stupid tortoises. <laughs> this is so annoying. I keep turning them on and off. What is that on the mini map there? Some sort of red circle there. Do a bit of meditation. Almost level 11. Some raw meat. <sighs> these stupid torches. Who puts these torches into the sewers anyway? Why would there be a torch hanging out of the wall in the in the freaking sewer? Like fictional depictions of 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 medieval and fantasy worlds are just obsessed with torches. I don't think this is the right way. Or is it? What? The dots on the map tell me it's the right way, but it seems unlikely. Point 
Okay, it's okay, it's just this. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back there again into the sewers. Oh, he's just beating his heart out. Here, you fancy men like me, whole town's going on about it, so no point playing hard to get, sugar puss. It's Lady Var Atra to you, and I'd advise you to sod off, sugar puss, before I report this to Papa. Oh, I just needed to go like around here, okay. Oh, well, that was easy. You need to go into the sewers at all. Pick some flowers for the lady. Nothing the women like better than plant genitals. Okay, how do I get in here? Nope. Oh, it's still some stuff. Locked keys required. Who are you? are you here? Answer this instant or I'll summon the guards. Ah, sorry to sneak in, miss. I'm Geralt, a friend of the Bard Dandelion. <gasps> Geralt of Rivia? The famed Witcher of the Ballads? What are you doing here, Vagrant? How'd you get in? Well, I, I let no one in the front, my lady. I swear it on the great sun. Not a word. I'll handle this. Hold your tongue, sir. This... This is Frederick Francis de Bergerac. My new swordplay instructor, correct? Show him to the training room. I shall join him shortly. But my lady, he's a witcher. Said so himself, back by the gates. Captain, do you truly believe Rosa Far Artra would train with random clods calling themselves swordmasters? No. The Var Artras demand the very best. Thus, we've hired a witcher. Take him to the training room. Now. As you say, miss. Why don't you realize what you've got yourself into? Hope so too. Miss Rose has got a downright beastly temper. Shows no mercy once she grips a sword. The drift of him. Grab a wooden one. And take care not to hurt the little miss. You learn the ambassador's ire. Follow me. Uh. clearly went out of his way this time. Wood, to start with. I must know your worth. Can't use signs here. Stop floating and fight. Shut up and fight. Damn it. Well 
you've fought. You're much better than the last one. I'm not actually your swordplay instructor. Really? Then who are you? And how on earth did you get in? Am I imagining things? Didn't we just have this conversation in the garden? The garden? Yes, yes. In the garden. So, what was it you said? Why are you here? Before I ask, gotta admit, you do pretty well with a sword. One pointer. Don't expose your left flank when you dodge. Oh, I know. Terrible habit. Can't seem to get rid of it. I'd hope to find someone in Novigrad who could help me to do so. But... Don't you dare try to dazzle me with advice. Already admitted you're not here to give me lessons. Why is uh, her doublet so dirty? Came to ask about your rhetoric tutor, Dandelion. Rhetoric tutor? Good one. That is why Papa hired him, but not at all what the bard had in mind. He mostly played his lute and sang for us. I believe he thought he was wooing. I mean he wasn't but you had some sort of relationship if you call him chasing after me a relationship even so there it's was nothing not that after us. all seems my sisters had a bit of fun at our expense but enough chatter stand and fight i demand a rematch all right <laughs> Yeah, she's not that tough. Come on, come closer. Well, is that blood or something? Or she, she's like bruised and so on, but why is that blood when I'm beating her with a wooden, with wooden sword? Can't rightly refuse a request from a lady. What are you two lovebirds whispering about? You asked about my relationship with Dandelion? Well, here's the mix ups mastermind Edna Var Artra. The greatest mischief maker north or south of the Yoruga. Hang on. So it was you in the garden. <laughs> of course it was me. Why, did Rosa try to play you for a fool? Don't be mad. We've done this since we were children. People have always mistaken us for one another. That's some serious bruising. But earlier the bruising just disappeared after like a minute. Take a dandelion did too. On occasion, yes. But then Rosa would quickly set him straight. If you'd shut your catty mouth for a moment, dear little sister, I could explain. Edna sent the some gone. love letters. She signed my name. Conceited as he is, naturally he fell for it. I was left to repel the aging bard's advances. Rosa, I had the best of intentions, you know that. I felt you needed help taking the first step. You blushed every time he sang a ballad. He'll next sing at your funeral if you don't stop it right now. Calm down, ladies. No poet's worth two sisters nipping at each other's throats. Especially not this one. Listen, I just want to know one thing. Either of you seen Dandelion lately? Edna might have. I certainly have not. My dear sister, I would never spend time alone with a man for whom you burn with a secret passion. Burn with passion? For one who incessantly praises another woman's talents? Afraid I've more sense than that. Dandelion act any different lately? Notice anything strange? Strange? Not really. It's no use, Geralt. She's so enamored she'd hardly notice if he turned into a werewolf. Edna, what? You needn't pretend he followed convention. 
Remember when he took us to the cemetery? Rhetoric lessons in a cemetery. Unusual even for Dandelion. We set out to visit the graves of celebrated Oxenford professors. He ended up quizzing us about Margrave Henkel. Who? Eccentric old coot. Died recently. He'd apparently been an important and generous patron of the arts as a young man. What are two young Nilfgaardian aristocrats doing in Novigrad? Dying of boredom. Papa's a diplomat. He also has many business dealings in Novigrad. He's a member of the Trade Corporation. Takes us along everywhere he goes, and must then find us new tutors in each spot. And so in Novigrad, the task fell to the poet Dandelion. Rose's betrothed. Edna! Bet sophisticated young ladies like you know a bunch about politics. We've picked up a few things. What would you like to know? Wonder how the war's going. Any outcome looming? Papa says much depends on Radovid, and on who captures Novigrad first. What's Novigrad got to do with it? Free city. Never taken sides. Always stayed out of conflicts. Oh, even children know Novigrad's home to the world's largest fleet. And they say the city's treasury's bursting with enough to equip two armies. Emperor continuing to push north. Courtiers must be ecstatic. His confidants must be. But Papa says that's not likely to last much longer. Why not? Papa says the war's disrupting trade, and people are tired of financing the Emperor's adventures. Changing subjects. Who'd Dandelion sing about? Know anything about her? I believe she's a poetess, or Trebaritz. Very skilled and exceptionally talented, of course. This woman, not a local, right? Hmm. I seem to remember him praising her melodious Kaviri accent. Makes sense. He referred to her as Kalonetta a few times. Bizarre names are common in Kavir. Gotta ask Zoltan about this Kalonetta. Been a pleasure, but I've got stuff to take care of. Exceedingly nice to meet you. Please come again. Well, can I expect any more lessons in future? Awfully convincing, miss. Wonder where you learned it. Name the time and place. How's here, tomorrow? Same time as today. See you then. See you, Master Witcher. Level up. Case Wex. Case Wex. What? Case Wex. What did you say? Case Wex. Case Wex. That's some different language? Case Wex. Case Wex. KSN. KSN. What language is that? Spoken on English. Um, all right. We can spend a point increasing our precise blows.
Okay, that looks like items that might be useful. No, it's a bit worse than what I have. Ooh, this thing is light armor. It's almost as good. Hmm. Not sure which one is better. you and stop me let's talk to Zoltan and we go back for some sword play slander to my face readily you are a mutant a freak a useless relic of a bygone age that should be burned like a withered branch how many people's lives have you saved from Bruxe, from leshens that has no bearing asked you a question how many There's something to think about, folks. Creatures fierce in the mouth. Would all are at him and his tail slinks between his legs. Come on, people. <laughs> You'll not find much to do in Novigrad. So fuck we mill it, they said. It'll pay off. Get ten experience points for that. Why not? The city is pretty big. this it's an owl or something looks so weird what's it got in his head ah you're back you met poppy you have to stop talking any day. oh some sort of leather cap thingy Zoltan. Venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure, you know me that well. Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we want to talk about dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Women on my list hadn't seen dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. <laughs> that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be her. Who's this Priscilla? A Troberitz, like you said. 
quite popular of late. What's a Trubaritz? Like some dandelion with a pair of tits, and you've got the general idea. Interesting image. So how dandelion handle meeting is? Oh, it's a female dandelion. form of troubadour. I think he fell okay. In love. Mm, dandelion in love. Actually, truly in love. Oh yes. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Fox. Whenever they're in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. You mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This will be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Zoltan. Geralt! Novigrad doesn't seem like a safe place anymore. What's keeping you here? I was keen on starting my own enterprise, but nothing came of it. Nevertheless, I took on some debt. Got to pay it back now. I'd like to blame it on the war or human treachery, but the truth is, I've got my own thick skull to blame. Rather not dwell on it, Geralt. when I arrived in Novigrad. Yes, Felicia Cori, a sorceress I was. The crowd came for the other one that day. Doppler, crafty wee bugger who'd spent years masquerading as Chappelle, commander of the Temple Guard. It was Caleb Menge who exposed him, executed him, and promptly took his post. Met that Doppler years ago, just after he'd assumed Chappelle's identity and form. Wasn't all that surprised when the Church of the Eternal Fire turned Tolar into freaks, opened up a bit to magic and mages. Ah, well, that's all changed now. Every mage who came here seeking refuge is now caught in a trap. Nice talking to you, Zoltan. See you later. Okay, Kingfisher in. Uh, oh! oh. Scandalous. Scandalous. The bits. I'm a witcher. You're not a witcher. Right, um, I'll do a little bit of meditation. What? Why not? Cabbage last night. Head feels like it's full of sauerkraut. We have to go outside first before I meditate. Maybe. Find some arse rests. Should start soon.
boys back in White Orchard. Silence, woman. We've come to hear music. A murderer? There's a war on. Some die. Oh, please, argue this out elsewhere. Squabbles and rows again. And I was told this was a decent establishment. If I know Geralt, he risked his noggin to save someone else's arse. Save, you say? He murdered folk. Don't let him provoke you. There's the door. Settle this outside. Come. I wish to listen to music. Music! Cultural capital of the world? The fuck it is. Permit me to introduce... Uh, this year's Priscilla known also as Caladetta, as lovely as she is talented. And this... Is Geralt of Rivia, I know. Dandelion's told me a great deal about you, and I've listened with bated breath. Don't be surprised. After all, doubt I could think of a more fitting subject for a ballad than a witch's love for a sorceress. Or should I say, sorceresses. Seems Dandelion was meticulous in telling my story, down to personal and insignificant details. Did he offer anything about himself, like where he was going, 
<laughs> Splendid. Very funny, truly. So, see you later. Did what? Right Come with me. Okay. There a reason for all this sneaking around? An excellent one. When last I saw Dandelion, he told me he was planning a heist. Siggy Reuven's vault? Sheeped up. And I've not seen him since. Reuven. What's he like? Tall, fat, dangerous as hell. Limp in his gait. Left leg. Sounds like a lame rock troll. If trolls were devilishly intelligent and had a flair for crime, yeah, I'd agree. Dandelion breaking into a vault. I'd sooner expect him to choose a life of celibacy. True. <laughs> Forgot to pay for his way into Passa Flora once. I made awake the next three nights worrying about it. Any idea what got into him? He have debts he needed to pay off? Claimed he was helping someone. Urgent matter that couldn't wait, he said. This someone, Dandelion mentioned their name? No. But if I know Dandelion, it's her name he failed to mention. As he failed to mention her slender waist and ample bosom. Let me guess. Attempted heist was a failure. Well, he's not driven up in a gilded carriage laden with jewels, so I should think so. I've asked after him everywhere. But it seems an army of tongue-stealing cats has overrun the city. I learned only that he raised a ruckus at Horson Jr.'s lair. Then Horson's men chased him all over town. Horson Jr. doesn't ring a bell. Biggest prick in Novigrad. Not literally, but... Got it. You're not a fan. But what did he do to you? Try the whole town. He's one of four bosses who control the city's underworld. The others being Siggy Reuven, Carlo the Cleaver Vares, and the King of Beggars. The rascal. At least he didn't cross the church as well. Bring that venerable institution into it. We'd be in deep then. Here I go again, rushing to Dandelion's rescue. He ought to pay me a salary. Wherever he is, I sincerely doubt he's in the mood for jokes. Nor am I, in fact. Relax. I'll get him out of this. Gotta talk to this Horson first. And Siggy Reuven. Know where I might find them? I don't know about Horson, but Reuven runs a bath house. Careful, though. He's a dangerous character. So am I. I don't doubt it. But Dandelion's not. I beg you to hurry. Let me know as soon as you learn anything. Well... Bugger all to do here. Heading back to the Rosemary. Got Poppy to me. And then I suppose I'll wait. Will we receive any restitution for our investment in Tamaria? Mark kicking out. Yet another night without a call. Ties it out of experience. I'll miss a woman seeking to get you drunk. I'm away. Okay, that was a big jump. Yeah. Not like this. Um. Okay. Ooh, I could do that as well. Let's do some meditating.
Ooh. Why isn't show on the show up on the map? Where was that? I think it was here? What is this actually? Anybody there? Open up. What's the fuss? The bathhouse is closed. Need to talk to the owner. I know he's here. Yeah, it's this I'm not guy. sure that matters as he's terribly busy. Busy? With what? Entertaining important guests. In that case, tell him there's another one at the door. Geralt of Rivia. And I'm not leaving till I see him. <laughs> Very well. I shall try. Please wait. Siggy Reuven cordially invites you to join him. I'm happy. I suppose we'll do this first. The meeting is in the baths. We will pass through the dressing room so you can leave your clothes. Let's go. You may disrobe here. Your equipment will be safe. And where can I disrobe? Okay. Rest you. Fucking talking now. We're wasting time, and this is a simple matter. Easy, Cleaver. Or son Junior's a dead man. I'll have my scribe send you a notice. You don't have a scribe. And we'll eliminate Junior when and only when all of us say I. Reuven, your guest. Why the fuck you let him in here? Because I want to talk to him. This is Geralt of Rivia. Good to see you again. As always, I'm out of the swiving loop. Who the fuck are you? I'm a witcher. Problems with your plumbing? Nah, it's under control. Geralt's a friend from the old days. Although... Got intruders. Someone just snuck inside the bathhouse. Several men. What the fuck's he on about? Plowing fortune teller. Assassins! Please, no! Ah! Bloody hell. I fucking knew it. Any weapons tucked away? 
just a few. First ever party with my prick hanging out. Ah! Does it not very tough? Terribly sorry for that incident. My security failed. I'll get to the bottom of who, why, and how. They were whoreson scum. That's the bottom of who and how right there. Don't start that again. Especially not in front of our guest. Who pranced in right before they attacked? Coincidence? Why do I doubt it? Let's give him a chance to explain. Disappeared for a few years there, only to reappear here in Novigrad. Oh, I've been here, there. Spent some time in Zerakania, matter of fact. Hmm. What did you do in the desert? Sought oneness with nature. Magical place, really. But I missed civilization, so I'm back. Aim to plant roots in Novigrad, become a respected citizen. And who knows, someday, maybe even a town councillor. Not gonna introduce me to your friends? Good thing happens not here. He tanned the hide on my ass for being so rude. Francis Bedlam you know, but then who's not heard of this patron of the fine arts and supporter of entrepreneurs of limited initial means? And the dwarfs Carlo Vares, known also as Cleaver. Carlo's in entertainment, mostly. I'm looking for Horson Jr. Interesting. What do you want with him? It's personal. <laughs> uh, Geralt takes his privacy very seriously. Spying on him, having him followed, is a bloody nightmare. Still, <laughs> he was lots more trusting when he was looking for Marigold. Gentlemen, you out of your fucking minds? A chat session? Poor son's out to get us, and he'll succeed, eventually. We've got to kill him first. So by all means, you sit here, soak, fart, and watch the bubbles rise, while I send my boys to Horse son's hidey holes. They'll make some noise, flush the bugger out. And you, geriatric, or whatever your plowing name is, want to find Horse son? Find me first. Any clue on Junior's whereabouts? Be grateful for any lead. Siggy? It's worth a try. Geralt's got a knack for finding people. And he's discreet. A value in itself. Leave you to it, then. I'll, uh, look in on you tomorrow, Francis. Finish our talk. So how about we get dressed? Sure, sure. Then we'll talk. In private. Right mess that was. Never thought I'd be glad to see the man responsible for my taking frequent baths. If you're any cleaner for it, gotta say it was worth breaking your ankle. It healed poorly. Can you believe it? 
I must soak it in hot water at least six times a day now. Failing that, it bloody pounds like the bells of Beauclair at dawn. Sorry to hear that. You're sorry? Well, consider it resolved then. Now, mind showing some added compassion could mean a miraculous recovery to me. Listen, Reuben. No, Dijkstra. Just not in the mood for your code names, passwords, and other bullshit. I'm here on specific business. If you want to listen, listen. If not, I'd rather you spared me your wit and threw me out now. Ah, uh, what's the harm? Talk. You think Cleaver will find Horson? He might. He might not. But he'll burn down half the city trying. What waste. Leave him to it, I say. Work alone. Any ideas? Junior's got areas of the city where he's strong. Penetrate them, look around. But be discreet. None of this speed and fury and swinging your steel cock about. Your partner's aware of your past? They know you're Sigismund Dijkstra, former head of Redanian intelligence? <laughs> Cleaver, Bedlam and Junior. Well, I'd call them my partners if we'd built a mill to grind flour for the folk of nearby hamlets. But we just need to stay out of each other's ways, agree from time to time. That doesn't make us partners. Do they know who I am? Was. Bedlam, sure. The others most likely suspect, but we just don't talk about it. No need to. Pretty clear you and Bedlam don't want a war with Junior. Why? Let me tell you what I told King Vizimir time and time again. War doesn't solve any problems. It breeds trouble. Trouble you then have to solve by other means. Make no mistake, someone's behind Horson's actions. I'll not end him until I know who. Hmm. Makes sense to ask around, I guess. Junior might be in hiding, but he's got to be collecting income. Couldn't afford to cut himself off. Gambling. That's his big earner. Junior controls the largest casino in town. I'll never forget. Hierarch Hemelfart raised all kinds of hallowed hell there once. Bugger bet lost his ruby ring. Then there's the arena in the city's bowels. Betting scheme generates near as much as the casino. They're always looking for hired muscle there. Suppose you could always search Horson's house. Though I doubt you'll find him there. Maybe some clue, though. Where's Junior's casino? Near the Temple Watch Towers. Horson's got nought to do with a casino officially, so careful what you say. Try not to arouse any suspicions. Arena sounds promising. Where's that? Sewers beneath Gildorf, but you'll have to enter through the bits, endure the stench of poverty on the way. Now, Junior loves a good fight. Wager he'd give a lot to see a real witcher in action. Mentioned Horson's got a house. Where is it? Solid townhouse on Temple Isle, just on the other side of the bridge. Wouldn't wager me knickers on finding him there. Junior's not that stupid. See if I can't find Horson at the casino or the arena. Might talk to Cleaver as well, though. Do what you will. Just be cautious. Horson's expecting payback, I've no doubt. Thanks for your help, Dijkstra. Just go, Witcher. And if you can't find the slimy bastard, come and see me. I know him well. Might figure something out. From Master Spy to Master Criminal. Interesting progression. Why? Truth be told, they're awfully similar. Both about maintaining a net of informers, being tough in negotiations, bribing officials, the occasional assassination. Same old shit. Yeah, except you used to do that in the name of some ideal. And now? Now I've decided I've slaved enough for ideals. It's time I worked for myself. And thus far, it's been going rather well.
You in contact with Radovid? <laughs> See, you're as witty as ever. No, I'm not in contact with him. I prefer it remain that way. Never quite forgave you for conspiring with Philippa Eilhart? Radovid doesn't forgive. Not anything. Not anyone. And especially not the sorceress of the Lodge. Philippa Eilhart. Had any news? Just good. Meaning? After Radovid popped her eyes out, she disappeared without a trace. If I've any luck, she's finally eating dirt. Thought you two were close. We were, until Philippa sent assassins after me. Listen, Dandelion's missing. Any idea what might have happened to him? Same thing that happens to anyone who steps on Junior's toes. Meaning? He's surrounded by splendid virgins who ply him with sparkling wine and pastries stuffed with Nightingale's tongues. Come, Geralt, what do you think's happened to him? I reckon he's at the bottom of the pontar, trussed up with the strings of his own mandolin. Loot. Far as I'm concerned, he might as well be rotting down there with a goddamn trombone. You wouldn't happen to have a bone to pick with Dandelion, would you? Of course I do. You serious? Dead serious. Dandelion published a sonnet recently. Second stanza, the shit uses paired couplets instead of an inserted rhyme. Surely you understand how deeply offended the poetry lover in me was. The bastard shan't get away with it. I was being serious. As am I when I say I have exactly no time to worry about your gigolo boyfriend. Got me own problems. Problems you might be able to help me with. And if you did, why then I might be inclined to ask after Dandelion, establish what happened to him. I'll get paid on top of that, right? Nothing for free, eh? Did you bargain this hard when Emma wanted to hire you? Who told you? What do you mean, who? Emma did. Ha <laughs> ha. I could never reveal my sources to you or anyone else. It would be fucking unprofessional. But we've chatted enough. Yeah, I'll pay you. Count on it. So, can I count on you? Maybe I can help. What do you need? I'd rather show than tell. Picture's worth a thousand words and all that tripe. Ah, and you do realize, if you say anything about what you see here to anyone, it'll mean a razor between your ribs. Figured as much. Excellent. One last request. Oh, let's call it what it is. A command. Don't draw your sword unless I ask you to. Hey! Okay, some sort of underwater passage? Oh, what's so happening? To follow me. I want to drain away quickly. Change that. But her. But less thinky. But less thinky. But Sadler. Where'd you get the troll? From Zerikania. Won him. Card game with a camel merchant. Your jokes are getting better by the minute. See me smiling. 
I'm dead serious. But I bumpy horses. Hot there. Siggy bad take. Good Siggy. Don't seem to have trouble communicating with the troll. Why'd you bring me down here? Take note of that hole. We'll come back to it later. And see that door? Vault behind it until recently filled with Novograd crowns and countless other valuables. But God! Then boom! Chorfun go! Translating into common, someone fucking made off with nearly 20 tons of my gold and all the lighter stuff. And you will help me get it back. Why don't you handle this? Gotta have connections in the underworld. What do you need a witcher for? <sighs> the gold wasn't mine alone. See, I run a members-only savings club, a bank for the initiated. For reasons that should be obvious, I prefer it if my temporary liquidity problems remained private. So I need an outsider. How do you know you can trust me? I don't. Counting on your survival instinct. Slip up, and I'll kill you. Feed you to Bart. Bart, sorry. Bart job that good. Fine. I'll help you. You're not exactly bursting with enthusiasm. Witcher mutations. They strip us of emotion. <laughs> I'd be jumping for joy otherwise. All right. Ought to look around. But first, some questions. I'm all ears. How much was it all worth? Got an approximate idea? Why the fuck do you care? Figuring your finder's fee. Don't get your hopes up. Know you too well for that. Just prefer to know what I'm looking for. Three crates of Nilfgaardian florins, a chest of emeralds, rubies and topazes, silver candlesticks and platters. I could go on. Shiny Chorfun. Oh, God. Anyone see what happened? Other than Bart, no. And the vault's location is known only to the treasure's co-owners. Well, and the thieves. What about upstairs? Anything unusual happened in the bathhouse the day of the break-in? No. Happen swears it was calm as ever. The usual customers, no incidents. Bloody bucolic. Take it the thieves got in through the hole behind you. You're a regular fucking master sleuth. Any other brilliant deductions you want confirmed? The year, maybe? Bloody name of Redania's king? No, but I am wondering, for instance, how that hole got there. Oh no. Boom. Hole. Bad look won't go. Bad look no. Only sleep. Bad shrooms. Head falling. Boom. Can you elaborate? Boom. Big. Uh, this like. I'll elaborate. Explosion. Big enough to blow that fucking hole in the wall, separating the vault from the sewers. Gotten pretty good at communicating with this troll. Lots of prior experience. Worked with idiots my whole life. Bad mushrooms? What's that about? Pops mold. The spores are highly toxic. One whiff and you're dead. Unless you're a troll, that is. Yes. But. But. Troll. Not talking to you, dimwit. Where was I? Ah, mold spores. They cover the walls of the sewers on the side of the vault. Actually thought it was a good thing, you know? A bit of extra protection. Thieves found a way through it. Bart, you see them? Bart, through hole. Once see, boom, got what? Breathe, shroom. Sleep, go. Jorfun, gone. Bad troll. Now, now. 
Stiff up a lip. Try to track down the thief yourself? Of course. Hired this lummox fonts, thick enough not to ask questions. We knocked back some pop antidote and entered the sewers. Soon after, I returned alone. What happened? Lad started belching something horrendous. I mean, burps with so much mass the walls shook. Told him, Fonz, stop. You're in the presence of a count. Well, former count, but still. And then he puked up. Up came most of the antidote. Lost his protection. Tried to pull him out. Then I heard a bubbling. Something crawled out of the water. I value the lives of my men, I do. But I value my own even more. Dropped Fonz and ran like hell. Mind describing this something that crawled out of the water? No. Doesn't mean I can, though. Air in the sewers thick with spores. Can hardly see a thing down there. Must have noticed something. Was it... No! Didn't notice a fucking thing. Didn't do a taxonomic field analysis, either. I know it's an inconvenience to you, but I felt I should get the hell out of there as fast as I could. Should look around the sewers. Got any more of that Pops antidote? Have a few vials left. Got the formula, too. Disgusting swill, to be honest. But it'll save your life, here. Thanks. You've no to thank me for, literally. You're no good to me if you suffocate. Listen, I'll be upstairs if you need me. Sight of this empty vault's giving me an ulcer. Good luck to you. Dandelion, what the hell have you gotten yourself into? Hey, Bart, got a minute? Minute? Bart, no minute, Scott. Bart rocks, Scott. Rocks want? I mean a minute to talk. You mean? Bart, nice. One more time. Can we talk? Siggy, you like. Talk me with. Why do you like Siggy so much? Siggy good. Siggy can't take part. He locked you up, alone, underground. Don't get bored down here? Not much to do. When? But not much do. But think. Lots. What about, if you don't mind my asking? Rocks. Rocks? Rocks interesting. Anything suspicious happened before the robbery? Suspicious. But no understand. Something not normal, something strange. Maybe you saw, felt, heard something? Ah! Yeah, but here, uh, like uh, a piece, his. What kind of hissing was it? Like a snake? No, a piece other, not animal all that. Right, so like what? Like uh, rock? A hissing rock. Mm -hmm. The hissing. Where did it come from? But his here in that tree. What? Where? Where? But turdy dump. All right. 
Let's change the subject. Good. Part time god. Chorfon go. But god. Uh, thanks for your. Mm. Long. 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 Eh? Do the other quest first. Do the sword instruction thing first. It, it said to come tomorrow, so that's kind of time sensitive, probably. How do we leave? Let's do secondary quests, the volunteer. No? What is it? Um fencing lessons. Oh, now it shows it on the map. Eternal fire, why me? The weather draws me down. Oh, that's bad luck. Greetings. You here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes. Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Hey, got nine experience points. I think we'll do this quest and then we'll call it a day. What is this? Should I call road?
Stand and fight. What? You again? Want some more? Bruises on your ass heel already? On God, I say! Victory will be mine this time. I've practiced with shield and sword. Many a headless scarecrow round here. Heed my warning and stand and fight! Duly heeded. Now show me what you got. Right. Had enough? Yes, but next time. Go back to Mate Bilberry and apologize for being an ass. Quick, before I change my mind and break your bones. We shall meet again. Ah! Rain was coming. All right, there she is finally. Okay. I'm safe right now. Nelf Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Bar Atra said that And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia, the best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I've something I wish to show you. You're using me. Don't like it one bit. And I don't like lacy frills and Redanian novels, but you don't hear me complaining. Now follow me. You see, I thought that instead of training in a dank gold cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. If that's what the lady wishes, just don't want to see anyone crying later. I've a hanky for you, just in case. On guard! Oh, we can't use... Oh, uh... Um... What? Lost your nerve? And use our signs. By the way, how'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. Apparently she's like got some sort of super regeneration ability because her, her bruise is healed within a couple of seconds. Um, and I understand why she would be if she had those bruises. 
um, with the wooden sword, but like with with the steel sword. How do you get bruises? You'd rather get deep cuts. <laughs> but okay. All right. What's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset? It slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Need to find her. I would a, a corset slow you. Can't be far. No loitering round here. Use my spidey senses to find her. Oh, okay. Got my eye on you, white one. Was it where we came? Far from home, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varnatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shot you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie... Oh, we would send the world ourselves. Do these guys want to die? Okay. Let me rephrase. Put it in words you'll understand. Piss off. Well, well. It's not just black ones who tell us what to do. It's wishes as well. Too bad I listen to neither. Game, Lucas. Okay. Understand now why your father insists soldiers follow you around? So they can save me, as you did. No, so you won't need saving to begin with. Rosa, those humans died because of you. What of it? Do you expect me to shed a tear? Observe a minute of silence? They were dregs, they got what they deserved. Lesson's over. Remember what you've learned today. Looks like you'll be using that sword often. It's beyond me, Geralt. I don't understand you. Why concern yourself with the fate of two drunkards? The world would be a better place without... You should go home now. And take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt. And good luck on the path. Okay. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna be a mutant when I grow up too. And I thought we might have some sexy times, but apparently not. Wanted. Cradle used but unworn. Need a bow to accompany me to a friend's wedding. Willing to trade a leaky pot for a cart? <laughs> Writes these notices. Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witcher would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatch in the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for Olgierd von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted. Take every man jack up yet. Yeah. Yep. 
bloody new guardian imperial can kiss me down there. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for today. Thank you for watching. The next stream is gonna be on Wednesday. We'll play some Chen. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue with Always The Witcher 3 um, next Sunday. I think I might feel like playing something else. But uh, I'll keep you posted on that. And um, yeah, have a good rest of your Sunday. And goodbye.